Let's have a look at question two. This is a question that many students uh, got wrong, but they were so, so close to getting it right. Okay, so we just need to establish what went wrong. Okay, to read out the question, which mass of this compound should be added to 800 cubic centimeters of water to form a 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube solution of NH4 plus ions? Okay, those are ammonium ions. Then you've got your various options there. Now, a few things to think about before you even attempt the question. Right, first of all, this is a this is a di this is basically a dilution. You're adding water to prepare a solution here. So if you want to read up about this, you need to check the skills chapter and look at preparation of solutions. There's no reaction going on here. You're just talking about preparing a solution and you want to know how many grams to add. Okay? So this is kind of just a standard uh, practical science skill. Okay. Right, so let's try and work this out. They've given you information. They've said that there's gonna be 800 cubic centimeters of water, and this is the concentration that you want to form, okay? So your first formula going to use is going to be number of moles is concentration times volume. You're gonna to want to use this formula, okay? Because they've given you these two values, and that will allow you to find out the number of moles of this guy here, which will then allow you to find out the mass. Right, so in order to calculate the number of moles, we, we've got to convert this right here. This is just a little bit extra. Remember that this volume would have to be converted, wouldn't it, to cubic decimeters, and then there's your concentration provided there, okay? And your answer coming out is 0 0.08 moles. In other words, you're going to need 0 0.08 moles of this guy but it's asking you for the mass. They want you to find out the mass. So you're going to go and use your second key equation. Number of moles equals the mass over the molar mass. Okay, now that we know the number of moles, that's fine. We can work out the molar mass, that's fine. That will give us our unknown here, our mass. And then we should have got the answer. Okay, so a quick calculation here using our data book allows us to find out the molar mass of this compound here, which is 114. So now you have all the necessary information. In order to find out the mass of the compound required, you're going to need to do number of moles, 0 0.08 times 114. And then the answer is 0 0.08 times 114 is 9.12. Now this is where we, most of us went wrong, okay? So fantastic, you've just realized you've got 9.12, so C must be your answer, but that's incorrect, okay? The answer is not C because we've missed a trick here. The answer is going to be A. That's because we're gonna to need to half this amount in grams because if you look at the formula of our compound and remember everything's based on the number of moles that was our first calculation there then basically because we have this multiplied by two in the formula if we want to know if we want this concentration of these ions then we're going to have to divide this by two because whatever we we've calculated would be double because of the way the formula is expressed there okay because we've got two times nh4 so 9.12 would have to be divided by two, which will give us then the answer of 4.56. So the reason why it's 4.56 and not 9.12 is because you had to realize they were asking only about these ions, therefore they don't want that to be doubled. I hope that helps.